Hey, if you're watching this video, that means that you're looking to see what's going to be happening to the trucking industry in 2023. My predictions are going to walk you through a bunch of different areas that you probably don't even think about right now and how you can prepare yourself for the trucking industry in 2023 itself. Now, my name is Jonathan. I'm the founder of Driving Academy, the best truck driving school in the entire country. And you might be thinking, well, why should I be even listening to you? Uh, well, since I've been in the business for a long, long time, uh, we've kind of seen it all. Being a truck driving school, you see the individuals who come into the industry and then we also offer lifetime job placement. So we're able to actually help people get a job for the rest of their life so they always stay in contact with us. The other cool thing that we do is we actually help people start their own business in the trucking world as well where we can actually sell them a truck and guarantee them a work contract. So that being said, our tentacles are in every part of this industry here. So we have a good understanding of what's happening nationwide. Plus I have a whole lot of contacts on the uh, employer side as well. And we're always getting together and talking about what's, what they see is coming, what we see are coming and we help each other out. So that's why you might want to wait till the end and listen to everything that we have going on here. And if you want to get your CDL license, then you should come to the best truck driving school around, which is Driving Academy. Check out our website below at cdldrivingacademy.com. But let's get into my predictions. So the first prediction is going to be around jobs. A lot of people are going to be scared. Like when you look back on 2022, 2022 has been a roller coaster ride for the trucking industry itself. When you just talk about students itself, getting a CDL license has become a lot harder in 2022 with the new invention of what's called the ELDT regulations. That stands for uh, entry level driver training. And that was a federal mandate that came down on everybody in the country where you have to now jump through a bunch of hoops by for if you got your permit on or after February 7th of 2022. Now it's becoming more normalized, more people understand what's going on, but it still can be very confusing for a lot of different people. So uh, also in 2022 on the trucking side itself, you've seen the job market explode. In the beginning of 2022, everybody was looking for drivers. We had calls almost every single day giving our company a call saying, hey, we need drivers. When can you send us drivers? Uh, our drivers are brand new. Yeah, but they're coming from your school. We know that they're good. We'll hire them brand new. That's how bad they need the drivers. Then we went through a whole phase of, oh my God, there's a shortage of equipment. We used to buy trucks at like fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a pop. Those prices jumped up to thirty to forty thousand dollars a pop for the same exact trucks just a few months later. So it was super crazy for the trucking industry. It was booms and crazy and every uh, peaks and valleys and everything like that. So what's actually happening currently in the trucking industry, and how is it going to be moving forward? So let's talk about the job side itself for twenty twenty three, and currently now there's still a huge driver shortage. A lot of people might be saying, hey, the trucking industry is dead. Things are dying down, but there's a huge shortage. If you just go on any job boards itself, you will see that CDL drivers is one of the highest required jobs out there simply because the trucking industry is what powers the entire world and the entire economy here, which means that no matter what happens to the economy, whether it goes up, whether it goes down, trucks still need to transport foods and goods and services, which means that you used to have job security. So a lot of people are thinking, well, in the economy of 2023, a lot of people, smart people are actually saying there's going to be a pretty sizable recession. And from the people that I listen to, I see that things are going to get pretty bad on the economic side. But one of the things that I'm a blessing with is the fact that I'm in the trucking industry itself because things will be affected, but even like COVID, right? So when you think about that, uh, people were not able to work, but who kept working? Truck drivers, because the essential of the ability to actually get into the truck and transport products from point A to point B is super, super important, no matter what happens to the industry itself. So a lot of these big tech companies have been doing layoffs, but there's no trucking companies that are doing any type of layoffs yet. And I don't see them happening at all anytime soon not even in the worst of 2023, even if this recession gets as bad as some people say it does. So if you want to protect yourself, maybe you're working in a career now and you're kind of thinking about changing, maybe security is the best way to go. You'll uh, jump into the trucking career at the perfect time, get yourself a CDL license, and then you can actually be secure for your future and for your family's future moving forward if you make this jump now before things get crazy. Or worst, worst case scenario, what's gonna happen? Say overall economy drops uh, tremendously. 
trucks are still going to be needed but if there's less product move around because less things go uh, are bought and sold right simply because less uh, less economy then of course trucking will slow down little by little but that being said just to kind of give you the magnitude of it there's about 150,000 driver shortage which means there's going to have to be a huge drop in the trucking industry which means a huge drop in the entire economy because like i said we are the backbone of the whole economy for all of a sudden 150,000 jobs to automatically to be full right so even if you get laid off in your current work i'm sure there's still going to be a truck driver shortage in many different parts of the world because things like the mail no matter what always has to go out i have a buddy of mine who actually owns uh, i think he's getting close to like 300 trucks and all he focuses on is the mail no matter the economy goes up, no matter the economy goes down, the mail still has to get delivered, which means he and his drivers are super, super steady, super, super secure, making the same money, and his company keeps growing every single year. So many different ways that we can help you out there. We have the connections for you if you're afraid of what's coming up in the year of 2023. So the other thing that we're going to be talking about is going to be costs. So when it comes to costs on getting a CDL license, the predictions are that getting a CDL license in 2023 are going to be more expensive. Our school is going to be increasing costs in January 1st of 2023. We've kind of, all, this year has been a tremendous hit on cost. Our employees ha got paid a lot more. Uh, our fuel costs went up. Every, all of our costs went up, but we kept our pricing the same way. Uh, to try to keep it as affordable as possible. But now this year, we are going to have to get back to the market value. We're, in some places, we are like $2,000 undervalued at our school. So if you want to take advantage of that, we're going to be committed to keeping our prices as low as possible for the rest of the year. But and then from there, we're going to have to increase our prices to make sure that we can afford to pay everything and continue to grow this business, to create content just like you like, and to help a million people get on the road to freedom, because that's what our mission is here, right? So uh, costs are going to be going up in 2023. So if you want to lock yourself in on 2022 pricing, you have to put at least a $500 down payment at any of our locations, and then you can lock yourself in right then and there. You can visit our website at cdldrivingacademy.com or come in for a school tour. Our main locations in Linden, New Jersey. You can give us a call 908-525-3609. And no matter what part of the country you live in, we can help you out there simply because we have helped students out from, I think, 35 different states uh, and they don't live in Jersey. So we can help you out just like we help them out. So the costs on the truck driving school side are going to be going up. Our costs are going up. Our competitors' costs are going up simply because their actual expenses running the operation has gone up as well. The other thing is going to be what about costs on the truck driving side itself so maybe you already have your cdl license maybe you're looking to see what's happening in the actual trucking industry itself in that case fuel costs have been going up they went up higher they kind of dropped a little bit now they're starting to peak back up my prediction is that it's going to stabilize uh, but before it does stabilize it will continue to raise up we might see six dollar a gallon uh diesel um six and a half if if you do look at all the numbers and you look at all the research but i believe we're gonna get stable probably towards the middle of the end of 2023 we'll probably be back at three to four dollar a gallon diesel once things kind of cool off the other thing that's that you have to worry about when it comes to actually switching into the career is going to be how much money you're going to get make so there's two routes that you can go once you actually get your CDL license. Route number one is you can be a company driver. The cool thing about being a company driver is you make your set salary or you get paid by the mile, which means the more work you have, the more you get paid. But it's steady. It's simple. It's it's good to go. If you want to be an owner or operator, this is when things can kind of get tough, right? As an owner in any business, you're always the one who makes the money last. You eat last in any other business, right? So even in the business that I have here, all my employees get paid first, all the bills get paid, and if and when there's anything left over, that's what the owner gets to use to invest back into the business, to grow the business, or to live off of, right? Depending on how you're structured. So 2023, if you're not set, secure with the actual ownership skill set of running a business, knowing the numbers and doing things like that, it might be a little bit of a challenge for you in 2023. But the cool thing is that we have support here that can help you make sure you run the business as a business and not just as a driver. A lot of people uh, in this back 2022 boom when the rates were going crazy and people were making a bunch of money, you didn't really have to worry about the numbers as much. But now 
a lot of people got weak which means the stronger people will survive and things will get better for those people who actually take care of their business the way it was designed to be. So the thing with rates are right now they're low, but traditionally they get lower around this year, which means if you want to be an owner operator, which means you're going to have to go to load boards, negotiate with brokers and make sure that you're getting the best rates possible. Sometimes you can get what we're saying here with our brokers is you actually can make a lot more money staying local than you can going over the road or regional simply because of just the difference there. The price per mile has dropped dramatically. Uh, however, this is normal for this time of year and things will start to pick back up in the beginning of the year and as the year progresses. So that's all going to normalize as well. Just in the short term, things can kind of go up and down. And one of the benefits is going to be with all of this happening, it's going to squeeze some of the lower players out of the marketplace, which means that equipment prices should get back to normal rates. Uh, they're probably not going to be as low as they once were, uh, at least not this coming up year, but they will become more and more stable. Some of the things about uh, equipment, things got as crazy as, hey, I want to buy 200 new trucks. And all of a sudden the manufacturers are like, okay, we're going to give you 30. Like that's crazy from 200 to 30. That's all they could do. So now that whole production line and that whole thing is actually getting back to normal and things are going well. So if you want to make the most money in the trucking industry for 2023, what should you be focusing on? One is going to be ports. So when it comes to ports, uh, all that container stuff that was backed up for the next couple months, there's going to be a lot of money there. The only downside is you have to wait a long time in the port itself, but that's going to be nice, stable income. The other thing is going to be car carriers. So when it comes to car carriers, uh, you're dealing with more of the public. And as long as the car industry keeps going, which means people always need to buy cars, you'll always have work. Plus, it's a higher paying job, higher risk as well. And then if you want to stay more on the like local regional routes as well, at least for the short term, you're actually going to make a good amount of money and you can actually have a good home time as well. So the thing that you guys have to understand is, and this is something I learned from one of my mentors, Tony Robbins, uh, when you have good times, it's going to create weak people. When you have weak people, it's going to create tough times. And then when you have tough times, it's actually going to create strong people. And then strong people will create uh, uh, good times again. And right now we're in the cycle where times were good, so people got weak, and now weak people are creating the environments that we're in currently now. Which means if you want to be a strong person, make sure you use this as a challenge. Make sure you use this as a blessing. Never waste the recession and make sure that you use this here to blow yourself up, whether it's personally or professionally in your business. And we can show you how to do that here at Driving Academy. The first step is if you don't have your CDL license, get your CDL license, get the security that you need for you and for your family and sign up this year before the year is up. So and then you can lock yourself in on the rates that you need to. And this is going to be the cheapest it's going it, it is in like a super, super long time because rates Real, realistically don't go down our costs don't go down which means uh, the rates are just going to keep going up from there so if you are interested in learning more uh, check out our website at cdldrivingacademy.com or check out give us a call at 908-525-3609 and comment below let me know if you like the content if you agreed with it disagreed with it haters are always welcome as well um, but I know there's a lot of love out there and that's all we're trying to do is share love with you and to make sure that you have the best year ever in 2023. Sometimes it's about getting the security that you need for you and for your family and making sure that you're in a risky career now and move into a much more secure career. Getting into the trucking industry is a great move for that. So again, my name is Jonathan with Driving Academy. Our mission is to help a million people get on the road to freedom. What's more free than driving where you want to go and make more money while you're doing it? So I hope to see you soon. Again, give us a call at 908-525-3609 or check out our website at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.